There are two general types of reciprocating pumps, the piston pump and the diaphragm pump. These types of pumps are operated by using a reciprocating piston or diaphragm. The liquid enters a pumping chamber via an inlet valve and is pushed out via an outlet valve by the action of the piston or diaphragm. Piston pumps use a plunger or piston to move media through a cylindrical chamber. A variety of actuators may be used to power these pumps, including steam-powered, pneumatic, hydraulic, or electric drive. Here are some of the main components that make up a piston pump. A piston, piston rings, connecting rod, suction and discharge valves, casing and cylinder, and relief valve. Piston pumps are sealed both internally and externally. The piston rings create an internal seal with the piston and casing. An external seal and packing gland are used where the piston enters the casing. The piston pump operates with a suction stroke and a discharge stroke. The suction stroke occurs when the piston pulls out of the cylinder. A low pressure vacuum is created causing the suction side to open and the discharge side to close. On the return stroke, the suction valve is closed and the fluid is forced out of the discharge. The diaphragm pump operates in a similar fashion to the piston pump, but it uses a flexible sheet or diaphragm to displace the fluid. An advantage to the diaphragm pump is that it eliminates contact between the media being pumped and the energy source used to operate the pump. This is a benefit when dealing with toxic or explosive materials. The diaphragm pump has a crankshaft or an eccentric wheel attached to a connecting rod. The connecting rod is attached to a shaft and the shaft is attached to the center of the diaphragm. As the eccentric wheel turns, the diaphragm moves up and down creating the pumping action required to operate the pump. When the diaphragm is up, the suction valve is open. On the downstroke, the suction valve is forced shut and the discharge valve is opened, allowing the fluid to pass through.